Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the Thirsty Palette. This just came out by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It is what I am wearing on my eyes. Okay, can we zoom? Come on. There we go. Cool. Um, so yeah, this will be later on in the video if you want to see how I did this on my eyes. But let's get into the review. So I was super excited when I saw this palette. Um, obviously I already took it out of the packaging, came bubble wrapped, the whole shebang, whatever. Fine. I actually ordered off mine off of Beautylish, not his website. Um, if you haven't tried Beautylish, I actually really like that. I just got my Natasha Denona palettes off of that too. And what's really nice is that you can split up your payments. So I believe this palette was $42 or $48. Um, I'll link it down below the exact price, um, but I think it, it was above $50 or more. You could split it into three easy payments, so if you wanted to get something else from another brand or another liquid lipstick, um, you could do that. I am wearing one of those liquid lipsticks today in Hunty. I didn't purchase any of his new collection, um, a part of the Thirsty or the Summer collection. Um, they just didn't like to me I wasn't like crazy about any of the colors I don't know or I thought I already had something similar but I loved the palette so if you haven't seen already this is the inside so you get five mattes and five shimmers or I'm sorry five mattes five shimmers and then five other mattes so ten mattes and five shimmers total so I'll go ahead and swatch them for you right now and these are like super creamy too I'm really impressed with the mattes honestly I have one other palette from him the androgyny palette oh my god I'm horrible at swatching so just bear with me so this is parched taste buds and bitch I love that name so there's the first three um, this shade is Kumquat and Stroke. So this is the this is the top row right here. So this is uh, ignore this concealer right here on my hand. Subtle, Quench, and Submerge. Right there and splash and drizzle ah. so there is the bottom row right there okay so what I was most excited about for this palette were these shimmers right here and if you follow Jeffree Star on um, Instagram or not Instagram snapchat he did like live swatches and his videos too on YouTube. He like raved about his new formula and like the quality of the glitter and how he was super excited. And he specifically mentioned that these didn't have the star logo because he didn't want them to be pressed as hard. He wanted them to be a little bit looser um, so they would apply better to the eyes. So that's why they don't have that star logo on there. Let's go ahead and swatch them. So Divine feels super buttery, like that is a really pretty silver. That's what I have on the center of my eyes too right there. Filthy Rich, which is more like a greeny gold color. This one feels a little bit grittier, like you can feel the glitters in them. I feel like I can feel the glitters dragging across my hand as I swatch it. It has that gritty, like if you've ever rubbed glitter in between your fingers, that's what that feels like. Then Lick is like a true like gold. It reminds me sort of of MAC Amber Lights. That is like a beautiful swatch though. That one when I was using my brush to use it on my eyes was literally almost like wet like here let me show you where's the brush that I used okay 
So like you can see, do you see how that like moves like that? Can you even tell on camera? I don't know. But it was just, it was like a cream almost. Like that's how buttery it is. So that one was super nice. Then there is Snatched. Snatch is more like a taupey, kind of pinky brown. Again, you can kind of see the, can you see the chunks of glitter there? This one again feels very gritty. But they swatch beautifully, like they're beautiful swatches. And then last but not least is Plunge. This is a very um, true brown. This again feels very gritty. You can kind of see that on my hand there. And right there. So there are all five metallics. They swatch beautifully, but I don't know if you can tell the silver and this gold, they're a little bit more metallic versus you can kind of see the texture in these, like they're, they're more glitter. Like, I don't know if the camera picks that up or not, but they all have silver glitters. And the silver and the gold right here in the middle, they don't have any glitter, they're just metallic. But the other three have a lot of silver glitter in it. So, um, I mean, overall, I really like this palette. Like, I, I think it really blended um, on the eyes very nicely, very pigmented. All I did first um, for my eye look was I did my face first, so you'll see that in the um, tutorial. But I just had concealer and then my setting powder over top. I didn't use any primer because I like to test eyeshadows out first without using primer, without wetting my brushes. I just like to test the shadow and then if need be, then I'll go in with MAC Fix Plus or use like a glitter glue or something to lay it down. But um, yeah, I mean, I really liked the palette and you get what, 15 shades in here and like I said, 42 or $48. So what is that? Like not even $4.00. That's like $3, less than $3 a shadow. So, I mean, I try and break it down. I justify my purchases like that. Like with the Natasha Denona, that palette is so expensive. But I try and justify it by breaking it down per shadow. And if I were to spend that kind of money on single shadows, like a MAC single, Makeup Forever, um, Natasha Denona single shadows, like that adds up very quickly. So I love purchasing palettes. And I just absolutely loved the color scheme. This is That's what stood out so much about this palette to me. So, yeah. Um, and here is the tutorial. <laughs> okay, so I have foundation, bronzer, concealer, and then I have just gone ahead and set my face with some setting powder. So the first color we're going to go in with is the shade Taste Buds. And I'm using this on a fluffy brush. It's the Sephora Pro 10 Crease Brush is what I'm using. And we're just going to start blending that shade into our crease. Just be messy with this. You don't have to be precise. And I use windshield wiper motions. I think that's the easiest way to blend out any shadow, especially for the crease. And this is what it should look like. Again, just blend until you get the desired color payoff that you want. The next shade I'm going to use is Bitch. That's such a cute name. And I'm going to use a Morphe R39 brush. And we're again applying this to the crease, but more intensely. So this brush will pack on a little bit more color. Again, using windshield wiper motions to blend this color out. And this is what it should look like. Then taking some concealer, I believe I used the uh, Makeup Revolution concealer. I'm just going to take that on a flat synthetic brush and apply a little to the ball of my um, eye. And then if you look up, this will give you a line in your crease where you know the shadow may transfer. So this is a little tip so that you can bring the concealer all the way up to that line so you won't have that weird shadow line if you don't bring it up high enough. So I always use this technique if I'm doing a cut crease that way it's going to stay that way throughout the day and I'll always have that cut crease look. I'm just doing that again on the same or on the other eye. Okay. 
then going in with the shade Lick. This is a super intense, creamy, metallic, almost like dirty gold look. Like it's an old antique, almost a copper color. And we're going to take that on a Morphe M421 brush. And we're going to start patting the color on the inner corner. And you want to pack the color on using press, pressing and sweeping motions. So this will ensure that the color just glides on and it'll go where we want it. So you are not blending this color, you are placing this color. So then we want to do that on the outer corner as well because we're kind of going for a cut crease halo eye today with this palette. So again using that same color and that same brush, applying that on the inner and outer corner to both eyes. Then we're going in with this super silver color. It is divine in the palette. Again, taking that same brush. I'm not really sure what that face was for. But we're, again, just pressing that color right in the center. And you just want to take that a little bit over the gold color so there's no harsh lines. You want it to be a really nice transition. So again, just keep packing that color on. It is super intense. My brush is dry, by the way. I did not wet it for either of these shadows. That's how intense they are. So next, we're going to go back in with the shade Bitch. I just really wanted to intensify the crease. So I'm going in with a Morphe E36 brush. And again, using windshield wiper motions. And I'm kind of dragging the color a little bit to kind of smooth over any harshness from the metallic colors so we get a really bright crease color and again we're just going to do that to the other eye as well and just really intensify that color I really like the pop of color and I think it really um, makes the eyes stand out Okay, so then going back in with the Sephora crease brush, we're going to just buff out any harsh lines, make sure it's nice and seamless. Then we're just going to take the shade Kumquat with that Morphe E36 pencil bullet crease brush and just apply that to our lower lash lines. And we're just going to apply that to both eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead and sweep away any fallout we may have gotten. And go ahead and apply mascara, liner, lashes, and lipstick. And we are all done. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the look. And I hope you found the review a little bit helpful. Maybe you want to go purchase it yourself. It is back in stock now. He just restocked on his website. And as I said, I purchased mine on Beautylish. As far as I know, it's still in stock there. And I believe even Morphe sells it too. So tons of different places where you can get this um, palette. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.